This handsome pup is helping me check email. Aren't you, Baron? Or maybe he's waiting for advent calendar time. Okay, I'm posting to Instagram and watch what happens. This started happening recently when I try to tag myself. I click me and BarkBox comes up. Now this is unusual that it has me in there. Lately, it has not been having me at all. It's just said BarkBox. Apparently I resemble a BarkBox. Autumn Beckman here. I'm in our storage closet at our building. I just took the dogs out and then came over here and wanted to tell you something funny. Our building is funny because it's a nice building. It's not like a super high-end luxury building. There are much nicer places than ours, but it is still a nice building and it's in a very nice neighborhood. And it's funny because very often when you walk down the hallways here, the hallways reek of marijuana smoke. And I just think that's funny. How do I know what it smells like, you ask? I do not partake myself, however. I do hang out with a lot of artists and musicians, so I do know a lot of people who smoke. And also my father was, among other things, a drug dealer, and pot was his drug of choice, so I grew up around it. Personally, I'm not a fan of the smell. I don't really like being around it, but I do think it's funny. Happy Vlogmas, day eight. I'm here to get our Christmas decorations out. Borrowed a shopping cart from a store around the corner. I will take it back. First things first, Sunday morning mimosas. Priorities, you know. Making cranberry mimosas, never made these before with this cranberry wine that we picked up at one of the wineries yesterday. So let's see how this goes. And my mom got me these beautiful Christmas flowers. Aren't they lovely? Isn't she sweet? <laughs> All right. Hey, the boyfriend, you want to come taste this? Here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he doesn't want to be on camera, so you get to look at me. What do we think? I probably prefer orange juice, the, the standard mimosa, but it's good. I'm going to drink it. Do we need more cranberry, more champagne? Oh, always more champagne. Taste that. Mo better. Mo better. Okay, good. Tastes more like champagne. Kind of liked it better the first time with a little more cranberry. By the way, all of the wine tools you just saw me use are available on Amazon. Amazon, for all your wine bottle opening needs. And I will link them all below. Oh, and my sister might be doing a segment for my Vlogmas. She doesn't live here in Houston. She's in another town like five hours away, but she is a professional baker. She has her own bakery. So I thought she might be able to give us some helpful holiday baking tips. Is there anything in particular that you would like to learn from her? I'm trying to come up with ideas of things she could do. Let me know in the comment section below. I love this so much and every year I forget I have it and then I come across it and I'm surprised again. It's this Waterford Christmas flute and it has, get where you can see it, it has snowflakes on it. And I use this 
every holiday season for the last few years since I found it at TJ Maxx. I also, we used to have a Waterford outlet closed a while back, which was very, very sad for my sister and I. I was at Times Square on New Year's Eve one year and I got to see the ball drop from very far away. I was actually standing in Central Park, but you could still see down Broadway and see it. And I thought it would be nice to have this to commemorate the New Year's Eve that I spent there. There it is. So it's Times Square, it's got the ball up on top. It's very pretty, and it's 2008, which I think is the year I was there. And it says Times Square Ball 100th Anniversary. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the year I was there. I have a small but growing Nutcracker collection. I try to add a new one each year. This is by far my favorite one and the most special one. This was given to me by the boyfriend a few years ago, and this Nutcracker, is very special because it was hand carved in Germany and it was carved in the likeness of the person who made it and it is also signed on the bottom. This nutcracker I picked up last year at TJ Maxx and it is an FAO Schwartz nutcracker and that is special to me because the first time I went to New York I was seven years old and the thing I remember the most is FAO Schwartz. This nutcracker, the Woodlands one, I picked up at Joanne's Fabrics of all places. That was one of the cheapest ones at about $20 but I love it. This wine nutcracker, no surprise, was a gift from my mother and that one is by Kurt Adler. I think she got it off Amazon, so I'll link it below. This nutcracker I also found at TJ Maxx, or Marshalls actually, I think, and it is a Steinbach. There was a point at which I thought I'd have a collection of Steinbachs, but this is the only one I've purchased so far. He has this piano. We lost a little flame on this candle last year. This one still has one, but if you turn it around, it's actually a music box. That's a cool one. Unique, I thought. And then this one, this reindeer nutcracker that's a calendar, I picked up last year at Target. They have some pretty cool nutcrackers too, and I'll link those below. Hello, Roxy, are you enjoying this history lesson? And then last year, somehow, I picked up three of these little balloon dogs. I purchased this one from our Dachshund Rescue, and then I think both of these were given to me. And then I got this one this year from Jill of MJ Lux on YouTube. She sent this to me, which is so sweet. And I have this one from Hobby Lobby to remember my dog's past. This cup we always keep out, it was given to me by the boyfriend's mother one Christmas and she has since passed. This snowman, it's a cookie jar. His head comes off, it's a little frightening. I painted this at one of those paint your own ceramics places and that's me down there on the sleigh with the reindeer, Rudolph up front. Just a little tip, I always use one of these for the Christmas trees. So you plug this into the wall, you plug the trees into here, and I use it for our curtain lights too that I'll show you. And then you just press the button to turn all the trees off and on. And then this is my collection of what I consider my real Christmas decor besides the nutcrackers. So my color scheme for Christmas stuff is burgundy, ivory, and gold. Poor Angel, her wings fell off years and years ago and I've never fixed them. And then of course we have our stockings. And I'll give you one guess as to which one is Roxy's. Hint, it looks just like her. And we have snowflake and dog stocking hangers. All right, this is pretty much the finished product. So I've got two trees over there. One of them I elevated onto a cake stand, and this one is taller than the other two. I got the trees at Hobby Lobby years and years ago, and then the middle is all ready for presents. And it does hide some of the boyfriend's photographs back there, but that's okay. We get to see those all year. They can be partially hidden for a few weeks, I guess. There's a close-up of one end of the decor with a sweet little barren dog in the sun and a close-up of the other end of the decor. And there you go. And a close-up of the birdie. Super close-up, super close. Uh-oh, she's gonna come get us. <gasps> Hello, Vincent. We needed a margarita break, so we came to one of our favorite restaurants, one of the best restaurants in Houston, Pico's, and they have amazing margaritas. I do have to say though, they don't compare to the margaritas that the boyfriend makes. If I'm being totally honest with you, his margaritas, they're really the only reason I hang out with him. They're pretty fantastic. So we're gonna go in and have some drinks and a little food, and this is my bag of the day, the Louis Vuitton BD25 in the Damier Azur, and I've got, had to flip it around, I've got my small Vachetta luggage tag with the A stamped on it in gold. All right, margarita time.
and now for the death-defying act of hanging the Christmas curtain lines. Be warned, what you're about to see is very dangerous. Don't try this at home. I could fall to my death and be eaten alive by dachshunds. But first, a sunset. This is one of the reasons we love this apartment so much. We have this big room here with these giant windows and we get to watch the sunset every evening. It's really lovely. The apartment is finally all decorated. I think it looks great. What do you think? I managed to survive the hanging of the Christmas curtain lights. It's always precarious. We never know if I'll make it or not. And uh, we know it's almost advent calendar time and check out what's going on behind me. Mm-hmm. In the chair with me this time. Ready to go. Before we do that, I have the tea of the day. This is the sweet tart, which was the sour cherry tea. And I haven't even put my nose up to it yet. I can definitely smell the cherry. This is right out of the teapot, so it is too hot for me to taste right now. So let's go over here, cause it's advent calendar time. Sugarfina day eight. Now we're talking dark chocolate sea salt caramels. Rich and creamy caramels are dipped in super fine dark chocolate with just a kiss of sea salt. I've had this one before, so I already know I love it. David's Tea Calendar, door number eight. Cream of Earl Grey, rich, creamy, and classic. Black tea, marigolds with corn flowers and natural flavoring. Do it yourself advent calendar. This one is day eight. See if I can pull it out without knocking down all the lights. Success. It's a candle, winter nights, coconut and beeswax blend. And for the dogs, door number eight. You ready? You ready for your cookie? 